with that. Everyone is in bed, except for Natalia and Mississippi. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to the Rim World. What the heck? <laughs> there's a there's a rock crawling through our. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So we're nighttime, midnight. Everyone's in bed except for our night owls. Though Natalia is only a, uh, a a wannabe night owl, she she works well at this schedule. And what all happened? I did a few things, like I mentioned at the end of last episode. I went through and put in the the uh, second and third uh, moisture pump. There's one. Two is sitting over here. Three is waiting to be finished somewhere in there. There you are. And then waiting for the uh, uh, conduits to go in. I decided to think a little more carefully about throwing in quote unquote temporary conduits and go ahead and get them into the walls and get them more in a permanent location where they're going to be you know, for the, for the length of the, of the, the colony. Um, otherwise, we've got Missa P up and working away over here trying to carve a pathway in. I wonder if we want to make another way to get around and through here if we ever do get drop pods dropped right through our roof and we're attacked and we've got to get out we've got an exit here and here which gets us out that way and out into here we've got an exit you know, up in this area here and right there wouldn't hurt I would say to give us a, a back door over here that might not be a bad idea um, We'll probably have to fill it in later. Where am I going here? When we figure out what's actually going to happen in this area. But until then, let's just make a single path through there. And deconstruct. Well, no, we'll put a door in there. Uh, my goal's up. Uh, let's see here. Structure. Which, just a wooden door for now will be fine. I don't know when they're going to get to that. Probably not going to be immediately. What I was curious about before we got further... Well, hello. It's raining. And then it's going straight into a dry thunderstorm. Hmm. What about having Natalia? Wild boars. This is why I spend so much time on pause. <laughs> the game won't give me a break to sit there and finish my sentence. So we just had piglets. Michael's up arting. And we have a dry thunderstorm coming. And meanwhile, I have forgotten completely about what I was going to say. I wanted Natalia to pop over here and make a medicine so we could see that happen. But now maybe we're not going to get to do that. Um, otherwise, went through and just did a little bit more mining here and there. Kind of got into the kitchen a little bit more. And the, what, the airlock that, that was right over here, I'm going to move over one to offset because of the move over over here. Which means this door needs to move over one as well. So that we've got a nice straight line going up in, which means this needs to move over one. Yeah, that kind of threw a lot of things off. Um, orders, let's cancel that one and move into this one. In fact, let's go ahead and mine that out just so we've got easy access into there. That's the only other one that is off. So we do need to take, well, it's already marked to take that out. So cancel this guy and give me a duplicate of that one we'll put a door right there when it happens um what else i got up into here we talked about coming up with an alternate wiring system over here so we've got two batteries and a switch two batteries and a switch both these switches will tie up into can i see it not easily mm, okay switch there switch there out of this will go into the main which will head up this direction and head down around to the switch to the turrets over here and then eventually there's a leg that you know heads up into the rest of that anyway that's that needs to be worked on uh, so we can actually see what's going on it's kind of hard to decipher my, my mess there but Handy was a little busy yesterday while I was you know, in between episodes setting up I ran it longer than I normally would have because I wanted to experiment with something and one thing that we discovered last time was right in here when I sent them off to go chase them away and you know, you know take a few of them down they were sitting right here and I wanted them to go over here and it routed them across the river and went up which clued me in they can't cross this point right here 
because the deep water touches the rock. And again, right there, deep water touches the rock. So the shallows end. They start up again and end, and they start up again. Which means that they can't cross from this shallow to that shallow if there's a stone wall in the way. I think we have blocked up our river access right here. At that point and that point. In other words, a stone wall there and there would have ended their ability to come in. So a triple door should be difficult enough to go through to coax the enemy AI to think that this is the easiest way back into our base again. We'll see. Let's see what the next raid does, but I think we're finally back to a single front, battle front, to our colony. Now that makes this kind of the weak area now, so we need to get in here and, and rebuild this and get some stone doors in there. Got double stone doors there. We've got double stone doors there. And that is the end of of tribals, you know, coming in and walking in on us. That's not the end of drop pods crashing in on us. I'm kind of wondering if the game is going to balance our defenses with brand new uh, challenges that can still get around our defenses by flying in on us. So we'll have to see what they actually throw at us. But where's that piglet at? Uh, most likely you're in here. There you go. Wild boar number eight. We'll name you Squiggly. And what was that one? And Sienna is pregnant. <laughs> what you guys been doing over here, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, um, but, but, but Ham's not there. Hmm. Although, she didn't just get pregnant. She is Sienna. That's not it. But you're right there. And health, you are mid-stage. <clears throat> so it happened a while back. Anyway, we've got a dry thunderstorm going on, <clears throat> which means the rain is pulled away, and lightning is about to start hitting, and pretty much just lighting us on fire. We'll most likely get rain afterward. Whoa! Get right over there. Oh, got a spark going over here, and that's going to spread in grass. We finally got some grass back. Been a long time. This area is still... We've got our grass mostly out of the edges. And it's very slowly creeping back in. So it would be nice to not deal with lighting our whole area back on fire again. Let's go ahead and take care of this as we as the problems start up. Let's do that. Hmm. Cathra, you were saying that. You thought that they were the the trading last episode was because the items in the water were not in the home zone, but here's our home zone. I don't know that it has changed. Hmm. So maybe that is not the issue. You know, by forming a quick stockpile somewhere, I'm guessing that that suddenly becomes a burst of home zone. Maybe my placing it here caused the home zone to connect? I'm not sure. But it's very possible that that was in fact home zone when we had the problem with the, the items left in the water and not uh, automatically traded. So, I don't know. Seems like, hello? Wow. Seems like quite often I think I figure something out and then something else comes up to, to uh, nullify it. Yeah, so do we have obvious damage over here? We got damage to the marble wall. Yeah, in here. Even inside. Yeah, that one shot right through. So it's a little dangerous. I would imagine if we got hit right here, it would actually light this place on fire. So this isn't... Uh... Now we need somebody to get the, the alert. Everyone's sleeping. Michael, you fight fires. Let's reset you. You're still making a large sculpture. What? Home zone? Why didn't we just freak out here? Digging at granite. Interesting. Is it because it's not connected? That's not it. <clears throat> I've had disconnected home zones before and had them all uh, go crazy over it. Okay, well, um, Shantiku, you've got a decent run speed. No, you don't. What's with you? 
Shantigo. Uh, health. Fine. Needs. Fine. I don't remember you being... Let's go back to health. Uh, moving 100%. What is with that? Don't know. You weren't a 3.6 uh, to start off the game, and you've got no permanent injuries. And you're well fed, and I don't know what to make of that. Anyway, um, Chantigo, now you, everybody is still set for normal firefighting. Why are they not responding to that? Aren't you uh, reserved by? Because there's only one, and someone already grabbed it. Miss P was beating out the fire, and still is. Let's get two of you up there. By the time you get there, there will be more fires up, up in that area. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that and that. Let's save our grazing area. Let's save our, our hunting grounds. Ah, That's a long walk, but let's do it anyway. All right, Thomas Slav, let's look at needs. Food, you need food. Um, Handy, you're, all of your guys' rest is just about done. Yeah, and Cathra too. So... Cathra, grab a meal. That's a long way out, and you're a lot closer to needing a meal. We're about to get quite busy. Sangria, same thing. Do that. And if you notice, we're down to just simple meals now. We're out of meat. So we've got to do some hunting this episode. Um, who else? Rabbit, you got to grab a meal, too. And Handy, whoa, you're even worse. So Tomislav, darn it, you too. That's quite low. Okay. So, Rabbit is on his way. Handy. Shantigo is fine. He's on his way to beat off fires. Klaus. Alright. Same thing. You are already on your way beating out a fire. Where were you? You're over there. Yeah, I'm going to get you... You got a meal on you? You don't. You're going to get all the way up there and then turn right around and come back to eat. So, I'm going to not do that. Uh, already got... Sangria, Cathra is already. Natalia is making an armor vest. She can go for a while. Let's give her a meal also. Michael's doing fine. Missa P is needing a meal. And Alicia's need everybody's just got off of sleeping. So that leaves Michael and Missa P. No, Michael and And Rabbit. No, who was the other one? Shantigo. Michael and Shantigo. That's all there is right now. Okay. So, Shantigo, you're going that way. Michael, you're going this way. Let's put these out. Everybody else will follow right after that. All right. No, I was about to load up this whole... Ouch. This whole area with chunks. Just completely load the river with chunks and then carve out... A, uh, a tunnel through here and three doors and one door that was the plan to try to force them back into the gauntlet when not only did I notice when I was editing that they couldn't make that path but when I was laying out the, uh, the stockpile to uh, dump the stones in it broke off a separate little uh, stockpile right there it wouldn't connect them so that kind of clued me in now this is you guys ignored the meals, didn't you? No? Everybody ate that fast? <laughs> you guys are pigs. Okay, go and... Uh, is it raining? No, it's still a dry thunderstorm. No, it's raining. Ah, we're good. Okay, all the rest of these will go out. And that'll go out before... Um, Who did I send that way? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Let's... Go ahead and cancel these so that we'll stop the uh, the march into nowhere. You, all of these can go down. And... Not sure what that one was all about. That can go away. Okay. Um, I would like to make sure we have a good cushion between the, uh, the wild and our tree farm over there. So I'll leave all that up. Um, same thing here. We've got our... Our plantings over here and nothing over here remained no okay so with that are you guys automatically going to reset shantigo no you're still heading there so with all of that draft undraft and go have a ball doing something okay just 
watching what they're doing. We're, we're all going to fight the doors over here. Maybe eventually we will find a way to uh, put an auto doors on that one if we find that we're going to use it a lot. Anyway, um, Handy, you are repairing marble walls, so probably right down here with that lightning strike. Um, otherwise, what is most important? Everybody's actually got a rest, and everybody has gotten food. We could go do some massive hunting. We could. Is there anybody here who should not go? Can't think of anyone. Let's look through this again. Uh, Natalia, Miss P got some food. Michael did. Alicia did. Everybody did, and everybody's armed. Should we try a massive hunting expedition? Everybody to Sangria. Sangria, you snuck off another direction? You did. Now if I shift and do this, hey, it worked. Okay. Everybody's included. Let's do this. Let's all head to, like, here. Let's take out this group. Now, where's our doe? I did send our doe in to... We, we had a doe that self-tamed. There she is. Right there. Doe one. Self-tamed, so I sent her into this area. Do we have any grass here at all yet? We really don't. Now, they're going to nibble it just as fast as it sprouts, I'm guessing. All right, so... Hmm... Do we wait for everyone? And is this really going to work? <laughs> so much could go wrong here. All right, so Handy, you're going to go there. Alicia, you can go kind of like, well, that'll work. Tomislav, you can go right there. And Kathra, you can sneak in right there. Sangria, you can go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have two more coming. Natalia, you can go, I guess, right over in here. And Miss B. Is there a space in between there? Or is that it? Nope, there is. Right in there. All right. Let's see how well this works. Out here hunting in the rain. Just seems like this is the easiest way to avoid I don't know, this, this may be suicide we'll, we'll find out not that way, didn't mean to do that nobody's running alright fire <laughs> which is where in the rain, we're fine Okay, and fox do a fox up here, hunt you immediately um, our dogs are out and about. Fox is not even close to being hungry, so we're fine. All right, all you guys, this time let's attack this one. Now is anybody going to run? No running. Okay. Okay. Let's try it again, though. It would be nice if you guys got a little bit closer, so I don't have to reposition everyone. Because we're probably going to be... What's our, our shortest distance? I'm not seeing any pistols. The... I guess it would be the 22. So we're kind of still there. Okay. So, all of you guys, let's attack... Turkey. Okay. Nobody shot anybody yet. And... I'm going to have to move you forward, aren't I? I am. Okay. Uh, let's grab this group here and say go here and see what you come up with. And then you guys go here. And then we'll reposition from there. Alright. Let's be go back there. And Klaus head over here. And Tomislav there. And Rabbit there. And Michael there. And Alicia, I'm a little spooked about you. You go right over here. I'm liking that. But now you guys have moved further away. And is this herd over here left? No, but they were sure hugging this corner. Okay. Let's... Hmm. Let's grab the revolver and check. Okay, we are here. Okay. You guys. Target. Attack. 
this one. And I've learned to pause and unpause. All right, nobody's running. And there's the Buck Revenge. Okay, what do we actually have going on here? You are after Michael. After Michael. After Shantigo. After Michael. Michael, you're the bait. <laughs> Your run speed is 4.49. The Buck's run speed is 4.21. You can actually stay ahead of it. Where to send you? Michael, you're going to fall back here. And then you're going to head up that way. And Shantigo, somebody was after you. So you've got a run speed of 4.5. Five. Weren't you the one that it was a three point something just a little bit ago? Grand World. Okay, you're going to drop back to here, and then you're going to run up. There. We'll split them. Okay, so in that case, everybody, all of them are considered enemies. So I don't have to target any of them anymore. They're just going to be shooting. Uh, okay, there goes Michael Shantigo. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, I queued you instead. Darn. Okay, let's try that again. You go there, and then you go there. And let's make that happen now. Go, 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 go. Okay, so... What was that? Inspiration? Surgery? <laughs> oh, does that... Is that uh, foretelling of what we're going to need here real soon, or what? All right. Dr. Tomislav has just been inspired. The surgery failure chance for the next surgery performed by him will be ten times smaller. The inspiration will end after eight days or when the surgery is performed. Boy, we can come across some bionic anything right now. This would be a good time to, to deal with it. Buck's Revenge. A buck is attacking after being harmed. Jump to, all right, so you are now attacking Handy. Handy, you're going to break off and go this way. Have you been harmed yet? You have not. You are going after Michael. You are going after Michael. You are down, which means the one going after Shantigo is no longer. So Shantigo, you head to here. And let's see what's gonna happen next. Uh, Handy will follow you. Go, go, go. Oh, somebody shot Handy. Health. Bruise. Okay, good. And this is getting a little bit worrisome here. It is. So Handy, you're going... Actually, you're going this way. And... Missa P, you're falling back to there. Tomislav, you're going here. Kathra can shoot kind of through... Shantigo, why don't you head over here? Alicia, move up. Rabbit, move up. Ah, uh, Kathra, let's move you to... Hmm, to there. Michael is now shooting at them, too. Um, Michael, dive back a little further. Okay, it's always exciting when you have more than one person with a gun at once. Who just shot? Klaus did. Right through Sangria and missed. <laughs> Alright, with that we are now okay. Pain and shock. Are you downed? You're down. We have one left. Um, Klaus, you're going that way. Um, <laughs> Kathra, you're going that way. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> Sanger's being headbutted, bruised from a deer, okay, um, Sangria, why don't you fall back, I'm a little concerned about you being there, and Shantigo, Kathra, can you, go? yeah, okay, we're, we're getting into a bad situation here, <laughs> um, your run speed is, 3.15 still. I'm going to send everybody back a few steps. I think that's the best way to go. Sangra, your run speed right now is 4.49. You're still fine. Handy, you are still 4.9. You're fine too. So, 
everybody but Handy go this way. Let's break all of these orders to shoot. Handy, you're going that way. And it's done. Thank you, Shantigo. Okay. Well, that was a little more exciting than, than, uh, you know, than my, uh, my blood pressure can take. Um, but basically, we got everybody out and they got a chance to shoot. That was the goal. Otherwise, a couple of them are going in to not be treated with medicine for a bruise. Uh, that's a bite scar right foot. How can we already have a scar when we haven't healed? That's interesting. 16 out of 20. Hmm. Okay. Otherwise, we have just a bruise. And that's a scar, not a bite. Which is odd. Anyway, I'm going to set you to no medicine. Um, sangria, you've got a bruise, so no medicine. And Handy, you've got a bruise, no medicine. Michael got nothing, again. Managed to get through that whole battle last time without getting shot. Though everybody was aiming at him. Um, otherwise, everybody else, you're free to do what you want, theoretically. I'm not actually going to let you go, so, you know, don't think that you were. Um, let's see here. First of all, let's unforbid all you guys. We've got a turkey over here to unforbid. And a few of them I can still hang on to, and we'll head up north and, and continue. Probably the fastest runners. Once again... The buck was going in at like 1 point, or 4 point, uh, 4 point 8. Maybe the other one took an injury. Yeah, you're 4 point 8 now. Handy's fast enough, but nobody else is. 4 point 8. So the does? 4 point 8. Hmm, okay. It's a long run back with a problem. Hmm. But Handy, you are viewing art needs. Who was our mental break risk? Kathri is. Handy, I'm going to hang on to you. So, draft... Oh! We still have somebody left. Michael, um, can you um, head over here? This doe still wants to eat your face. Okay. Um, Handy's got a sniper. It's going to take her a little while. Michael is... moving, theoretically. Let's get somebody else ready to go. Klaus, where are you? Uh, find you this way. Right there. Why don't you move to here and get ready to fire as well. Shantigo, fire as well. Though I kind of need Michael to move first. So let's just start the countdown. Michael got hit. Bruised by what? Michael. Bruised by in the left arm. So he's still runnable. I just need you guys not to hit the end of your timers. New timer. Come on, Michael. Gotta wait for his timer to... There was a shot. Okay, Shantigo. Let's see how good your aim is. Oh, yeah, got Michael. <laughs> Michael, what happened to you? Health. You got a... The left middle toe. Ouch. Otherwise, you've got stomach crushed by the deer and bruises. I think we're keeping you on good medicine. Yeah. Otherwise, I need my goal to get out of there. Boom, boom. Okay, now he's clear. And Handy's still there. You're there. Klaus is coming in. And Tomislav, you've got a decent aim, too. Let's draft you and drop you in right there. I should still give Michael enough time to get out of there. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. You back. You guys all just target and shoot. Okay. Any others that are down? No. No, nobody's wiggling over here. No wigglers. Okay. Uh, no, don't do, don't do that. Michael, you are moving. Done. You're heading up to go and get taken care of. Natalia is on her way back to a hospital bed. Okay, Tomislav, you're relieved. Why don't you go take care of folks? All right, well, we've got a mess up here to clean up. We need folks hauling. That's right. That's what I was wanting to do before everybody got into the bottleneck over here. Miss B, you can bring in one of these guys right there. Haul deer. And let's just go down the list. Kathra needs to be left alone. She desperately wants to play chess, and she's about to 
to break. So, Alicia, you can bring in this one. And Natalia, you've got a slow run speed. We'll let you go ahead and take off. Sangria was only playing horseshoes, so she's not going to go to the hospital bed because she doesn't get any treatment. We'll have to maybe manually do that. But right now, you have got a run speed still of four and a half, so you're fine in, in a sense that you can bring one of these in. So this one is reserved by this one is still suffering. Okay, this one, haul this one in. Guys, let's take this one out. Uh, no. Let's let's see. You head right there. Okay, that should work. And then fire at. And do it before, um, who was it? Sangria that's heading up to get no, Miss P's heading for that one. Come on, guys. You can do this. Um, guys? Guys? Alright. Miss P, hold off and wait. Come on, guys. Come on, you can do this. Um, Miss P, can you, can you show them how to do that? Can you, uh, Might have break wrist times too. Who are you? Michael. Yeah, he's on his way in. Boom. That was a big boom. Yeah, that was a big boom. Cather almost bit it that time. Um, you're going to hate me for it, but can you clean that up for me? Thank you. Now, what's happening up here? Um, Miss P. Well... Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll come back in a couple of hours and they'll uh, have that figured out. Tomislav, you are heading in. So have we got anybody in here that's injured yet? Catherine's fine. Rabbit's down here. Sira, kind of forgot about her. Her, him, from last time. I realized that while I was editing, I never went back in to check. Sira, let's think about you. Health, your wounds are almost done character really isn't one the only advantage is that you're a male when I've got a lot of males wanting into the game but I don't know of any males that really want this character you can't do anything you got no passion for anything you won't do dumb labor so I can't even get you to spend the rest of your life hauling and cleaning so and your your recruitment difficulty is 99% so I'm going to say what's your needs right now you've been chatted up enough to be a you know, to, to have a decent uh, mood. Let's go ahead and set you for release. Right there. That one is done. And hopefully we'll roll better characters next time. Um, you guys have your deer. And you guys are still thinking about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, we, we have contact. They've got snipers. If they were over here, they, they'd nail them first try. But up close. In fact, does it say that? Klaus, right there. I'm curious. I hit the wrong one. I want gear and this one. Does a sniper have less accuracy close? It does. 50% if you're up close. So short. Does it define short? Of course not. So I'm going to guess that if I were to tell Handy to go... Well, okay. Let's do what Handy had actually mentioned in the comments. She, There was the last episode, uh, Klaus and Rabbit were both aiming at the same one, yet Rabbit had a much better chance of hitting than Klaus, though Klaus's skill is better. And it had to do with, you know, very likely because there were more trees in the pathway between Klaus and Rabbit. So I was about to say, let's, you guys go back this far, but there'd be trees in the way. So if I were right now, Handy has 3% chance of hitting. And Shantigo, a 5% chance. And Klaus, a 4% chance. And Mississippi, a 6% chance. She's a little closer. And there isn't a bush in the way or something. So if I were to put Handy there, and Shantigo, oh, 
well, let's go a little further back with the snipers at least. Shantigo, actually, let's undraft you and you can haul this one in. Okay, so Handy, you're going there. And Klaus, who has the best shooting skill of all, is going to go here to Handy's there. So about the same distance. But Klaus is going to have a tree in the way. And the Mississippi, you've got not as good a skill at all, though. In fact, you've only got a two. Yeah, you've got the best chance right now out of all of these these uh, better shooters to hit. So if you were to... Oh, we'll go there. Just to get everybody in position. And then fire at. Not rescue. Fire at. And fire at. Everyone's aiming. And Klaus now has a 4% chance. Handy now has a well, 3% chance. Maybe that tree doesn't really count. Klaus, go back to here. And then Miss Pete has a 5% chance. Right. Now, Klaus, fire at. All right. Klaus now has a 4% chance. I expected less. Like significantly less, you know... 0.4% chance with these trees in the way. Hmm. Rimworld, you're so unpredictable. Okay, anyway, guys, just, you know, take it out. Maybe we're not officially medium range yet. I hate to spend, you know, half of this episode just trying to take out this deer. But it looks like we're going to. Needs. Mississippi, go ahead and go home. And Handy, you're fine. And Klaus, you're right on the edge, too. Okay, a couple more shots. And I'm going to send you home as well. Alright, you're out. Boom. Fire. Right over here. We'll ignore that one. Is that in our home zone? It kind of is. Okay. Get rid of you. Actually, get rid of all of you. And you. Yeah, this area doesn't really need it. Okay. So, with that handy, it's up to you. Can you take out a turkey while you're at it? Wow. You're hitting over here. Did it? Did it. Alright. You're relieved, and... Why don't you haul that in for me? Go here. Try that again. Haul in. Okay. Well, the great hunting expedition of, of 10th of April, May... 15, 5501. I'm sure that's going to be carved into a statue here before long. <laughs> anyway, this is kind of an episode of showing off the new plan. We've still yet to fully test it, but this kind of becomes our new weak spot. It really does. If they are programmed to beat down the door that gives the least resistance and the most benefit, that's the one they're going to beat down. So that one, unfortunately, is used by us an awful lot, too. Um, we do have power in the area, but we don't have auto doors. Where is that? That should be kind of right there. That is something that... Let's do that. We'll come back to precision rifling a little bit. Let's do auto doors. And I also want to do a multi-analyzer soon, so we can get that figured out. That will also open up this huge area over here. But auto doors, let's get that one going. Then we can put in a stone auto door, which should open at about the same speed as a wooden door. Stone opens up really slow, as you see from our bottleneck over here. They'll just very slowly open. Then they stand there in the next one. This is not done for our convenience, that's for sure. But, and the storm is over. All the fires are out. Now there's no more rain. Looks to be. Yeah, good. But um, that's the one spot to be concerned about right now. If we were to deconstruct you and see if we can't immediately get another one built in. Tomislav, you are tending to Sangria, who went over here, who just needs a bruise. Okay, and no medicine. Good. Get you done. Otherwise, who else is in a bed? Michael, you got everything done. And hopefully your left middle toe can be restored but it it was it was touch and go there two out of ten and you've been healing for a little bit 
So you almost lost that left middle toe. So you go back. You stayed on good medicine. Okay, handy needs to be worked on. Um, so does Natalia. Now, hmm, handy was just a bruise, and it will fix itself in four ticks of time cycles, whatever that is, all by itself. With no, you did get bandaged. I'm sitting there not even noticing that. Natalia, you got bandaged too. So you guys are fine. Okay. Fine as you can be. Um, that's what I wanted to do. Get you guys back to regular medicine before that gets forgotten and it becomes an issue. I'm not seeing our Sira over here. So Klaus has already been active and letting Sira wander our play. There you are. Okay. So you're leaving, which gives us a little bit of a bonus toward the Accord Amino. Maybe of 68. It'd be nice if we had more attacks, though you know, I say this uh, a little bit uh, haltingly, but if these guys attacked us, we have a much better chance of recruiting them and of having some different kinds of skills than the tribals, though we've got over here a Outlander Union, okay? So if the one, if we could just trade with these guys and the two tribes, because they're so hard to recruit, and get these guys and these guys as prisoners to, you know, to potentially add to our ranks, then we'd be better off. So let's make friends with that tribe, and who's just about leaving right now, and we got the message that we just got gained 15 and Sangria's healed and Natalia's healed. But uh, because Sierra left the map healthy, relations with Accordamino have improved by 15. So we'll do that three or four more times and we'll be uh, in better shape to just trade with them and not have to fight with them. And Handy is fully healed. Okay, all that is done and we've got cargo pods. That didn't go down so well last time. Oh good, we're over here. Yeah, well, that crashed right into... Uh, rabbit's bedroom and tore all this up. That was quite a shock. What's coming in on us? Ooh, how did the game know we were out of these? All right, meals, and then we can only haul 10 each, so that's three trips. And Handy needs, you need a meal, and you're gonna run out here and, although your mood is fine. Let's see if we can convince you to, uh, to do that. You're gonna grab, how's that gonna work? 10, 10, and two. I could have you come over here and consume a meal <laughs> and then haul it back. That could work. And Rabbit, you've got a, you don't need a meal. Who else needs a meal that wants to make the trip out here? Sangria, you need a meal. Yeah, your rest is fine. Why don't you come out here and consume a meal and then haul these back? Yeah, that works. Okay, that's more than one way to skin a rabbit, whatever that means. Um, okay, Tomislav is comparable to Natalia in the sense of this experiment over here. Tomislav, why don't you make some medicine? Well, you're after making medicine, which means you are after herbals. Okay, herbals, I figure we're close enough. Got a stack of cloth over here. Got a stack of Nutramine over here. Now let's just see this process, even if just once. We're asking for our medicine to be kept at 60. So, I'm going to grab some of that, going to grab some of that, and three of those, leaving 72. And... Dun 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 And we have a medicine. Nice. Okay. You'll continue that, or will you go back to researching, since it's probably a crafting skill. You are now... You're going to continue. I'm going to let you. Natalia will be up before long, and... Yep, she's going to grab a meal right now. And then she's going to go to researching, while Tom Sob's just going to crank out the medicine. Okay, that works out good. You guys made the trip over here safely. You did. You're having your meal. You're bringing the other ones in. Great. All right, so am I 45 minutes into this already? That's just not possible. Anyway, let's go through some notes here. Research chem fuel is in my notes. Research. Chem fuel was what? 
It wasn't called chem fuel. It was refining, right? Let me think about that. Chem fuel. Refining needs to get onto the list soon. I want refining. I want multi analyzer. We're doing. We want to finish precision rifling. We're doing what right now? Auto doors. Okay. So there's quite a few that we could actually get some use out of soon. I did set in here, we haven't got back to any kind of construction, but we've got a couple of, of mortars sitting in here. I've got the roof opened up just in the right place to do it, closing it over our weapons racks and our little spare bedroom and a little eating area, kind of tucked into this this little uh, you know, combat um, break room. <laughs> and... Um, so it would be nice to get some chem fuel going so we can get some mortar shells going. So that's a thing that needs to happen. Um, what else is on my list? Michael brought up a point a couple episodes back. I was asking why some of these are darker than the others. And he suggested that maybe it's because there's roofs over some and not the others. And as we pass over here, we have constructed roof. And there's one with no roof at all. So that may be a thing. So let's take a new lovers. Okay, well, you just have to hold on a second. Let's make sure this area is roofed. Except for... Right there? Don't know if that would roof anyway, but it's not necessary. So, um... Ignore. That's what I want. Right there. Okay, let's make sure all that got roofed up. We have a, a void or an opening right there. Who... Klaus and Sangria have... Spent some time together... Mm-hmm. Interesting. We'll, we'll have to see where, whatever happens with that. We've got Sangria Social Wooed by Klaus. Sangria agreed and is now Klaus's lover. And likes Klaus at 96%. Klaus, on the other hand, has a better than half interest in her. So that's something that's got to grow. So we'll see how that goes. So something to keep our eyes on. Um, back to the list. I want to see how many of these things I can cross off. Thought about, big auto save, pause there, a third turret right in here. Do we need it now? We could. Um, we still have the potential of pods dropping in on us. We have the potential for someone actually making it through the gauntlet and coming out in if we get numbers in, in mass, you know, enough to overrun us here. So that was the position I was thinking of. I won't build it yet, though. So you guys let me know what you think. The thought here was that we could kind of get a beat on this one and kind of get into this one with it. It doesn't have to be right there, though. So let me zoom out a little bit. You can kind of stare at this. And where would you put another, another uh, turret system in here? Kind of the same pattern. This is going to be shooting into here, so we could potentially put another one right over here. So both of these are shooting this way, with one as a fallback over here. Though of course, if they land over here, this one doesn't reach it. So we'd only, we'd only have one to defend the entrance of our base right here. That's something to think about. Where do we want a third, or do we even want a fourth? We want a pair here and a pair there. Now, what I heard a long time ago, I don't know if it was ever true, or if it is still true, or, you know, if it if it is solid fact. The more turrets you have, the more the game will ramp up the attacks against you. Also, the more value your base has. Is there a way to see that menu? There used to be a way to look at your value. History? Statistics. Okay, here's wealth. There used to be a graph that would chart your wealth. Here we go. Wealth. So, can I... I can't really turn them on, but you can see our wealth is increasing as we progress because we're gaining more things we're making things we're selling things maybe right there and so we took a dip in our wealth um wealth total wealth items wealth buildings oh wealth totals up here okay so this is called history yet it's only giving us our wealth history interesting statistics so, major threats, seven have hit us. Enemy raids, six of them. Uh, damage taken, this map. Colonists killed, zero. So, difficulties rough. We're on Cassandra Classic. 
And we have played a total of two days and 16 hours so far on this map. Wow. Anyway, what else is on the list? Um, KK's grandma, who will at some point in the future be a character named Grandma, has brought up the point that I didn't notice when I was clicking through the chairs real quick. We actually have more artwork going on over here. We have another chair besides the superior that we moved into Shantigo's place, or the legendary, with the art called Klaus's White. We have a excellent sitting over here with art. Beauty of 14 called the GNU. Okay, there's a title. Sangria is, is, is the topic of a lot of our artwork. Interesting. An engraving on this furniture portrays Sangria getting a drink from Cathra's, from Cathra with a laugh. Six thieves are involved in the conversation. The smiling head of a baker watches over all, and the style is geometric with detail-oriented elements. The this illustration relates to Sangria's attending Cathra's party. 15th of Jugast. That was really early. That was the party right over here where I want to say it was Cathra and Natalia went went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. In fact, they also went toe-to-toe -to -toe over here. They've had a couple of battles. Whoever goes after, you know, wants to pick on Natalia usually gets their butt kicked. <laughs> Don't go after Natalia doesn't work <laughs> um also on the list we got the doe self-tained and animals doe right there set for obedience right there um and in the alpaca grazing zone um anybody else we've got wild boar four that has made it to um hauling training so it's moved over into the the uh, animal no trap zone so now it can run around and do some hauling and carry those those blocks of chunks of, of steel through here looking like a floating rock moving through our, our, our land um i had a bunch of chunks marked out in here michael's fully healed good pop over there and you're grabbing a meal needs yeah health you've got your middle toe back congratulations um i noticed while i was figuring out some of these things between episodes there's there we go right there he is running in to grab a shoddy armor vest and haul it up here and drop it off any more of them in here nope as they get dropped off somebody walks over and grabs one you can see the little white right there right there 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 so alicia mississippi and Kathra both need to get one so we need to i have a mark to have one or two in stock plus the two that are in there. So there's at least four more to make. Um, while I'm thinking about it, how many components do we have left? That's 57. Wow. Wow. We had 37 not long ago. I guess we've been doing some mining. We're finding them in here. Okay. Um, anyway, I was seeing pigs and dogs roaming the whole world looking for chunks. I realized I had marked several of the chunks to bring in granite to build our gauntlet at one time and to bring in limestone to fill our gauntlet and they were still marked and the dogs were just happy as could be to go out there and haul those in we still have a doe to pick up so who is on hauling duty nowadays you know i don't know i they've been on there for their inspirations and then they have left hauling is right there nobody is i need somebody in hauling duty that's got a decent run speed um that isn't planting yeah, planting's over here. I guess I just need to assign somebody. Shantigo, I hope that you have been butchering like crazy, right? We've got fresh blood over here. Shantigo is... Yep, he's been butchering and cooking, so we've got five meals back in. Good. Um, who can I get to get out there and grab that last deer? Uh, Klaus is sleeping. Klaus needs... You're just about done. I'm going to wake you up and get you going. You're going to consume a fine meal. And when you're done with that, you're going to head out. And I see another one. No. And haul this one in. And we had a turkey at one time. Don't want to waste any of this meat. So just debating how to deal with bringing in meat for the rest of them. Let's just work with hunting from here on out. And things that aren't going to charge us. They're actually, though the pigs can come at us. 
your run speed is five, even faster than the uh, the other ones. You're a five point one. Um, turkeys are definitely safe. Well, hunt you. Raccoons are safe, right? No, actually, they well they go to four. Okay, so we'll hunt you. Don't remember who's on hunting duty now. I want to say it's Rabbit and Klaus. And a couple others were queued up for it. Let's hunt you. But we need to keep the meat coming in. And anything else on our list to deal with? So we got the excellent chair, third turret, dough, uh, the stones, make meds, research chem fuel, weapon, orbital beacon. We've got a bunch of weapons being stored in here now. It'd be nice to be able to sell the ones that are not worth keeping to orbital traders. So it wouldn't hurt to put an orbital beacon up in this area. Minor break risk. Orbital beacon. Break risk is Cathra again. And I gotta get centered to the room for the most part. If I pop down here, might still be a problem. Go up any higher? I can go higher. I'm trying to keep away from these guys. I guess it won't really matter. We're not, unless we're gonna take shells coming in, which we could. This would be a viable target. Okay. What are you? You're a, you're a rack as well, right? You're a shelf, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and, although you should, you be another table and chairs. I don't know. Okay, well, let's work. Oh, right. I've got to get that door going. Yeah. Um, I could probably do that after the episode's over. Anyway, um, miscellaneous trade beacon. We're just going to pop you right there. That'll cover this whole area. So whatever we have in weapons here, you're available to sell as well. Rabbit, you were... <laughs> I think it's funny when they just crash down and start staring up at the sky. You were taking care of this. This needs to be torn down just to give us a little bit of our space back. And you're already... Back to sewing. Trees? Eh, a few trees left to go. A few trees over here. Um, this whole area's been replanted. Good. And we've got stuff rotting out here. Michael, you don't haul... And I can't trick you on this one. Uh, Shantigo, you do. And you're doing pretty good. Why don't you pop over here. Actually, start right there. And you should just work your way through and, and haul all those in. So, get that one done. Did Klaus ever make his way? He canceled. Because it's 10 in the morning. Okay. Your needs? You're probably needing it. When you're done with that, if you wouldn't mind... It got done. Okay. Man, so much happens when I'm jabbering over here. Um, you hunt. We'll try the piggy. Hunt. Not the ostrich. And... Okay, here's one last thing to do. And what I probably should have done just to kind of show this off. Handy. If I wanted you, though I hate to bug you, you're actually... Hmm. I'm going to bug you. I'm going to draft you, and I'm going to send you to right here. Well, it doesn't work because of the doors. If I were to forbid that, there we go. And let's reset you. Send you to there, and then send you to here. There's the path she's got to take to get all the way through to get to there because she can't cross this. So that was my confirmation when I started to experiment with this yesterday. There's a little piggy right there. So I think we're safe here. I think we've got a, a blocked river and a blocked river. So I think we've now got the advantage of this whole little valley in here, even though we have the river here. Um, who was it? Quiet Mirth, maybe? Was asking if we had any shallow water in here that was not considered flowing, uh, flowing water, running water. I'm not seeing anything in here that's not wiggling while I'm moving. And Handy, um, sorry, ignore that order. Everything's flowing. So I'm not seeing any shallow water that could have been moisture pumped away to put a wall through. Otherwise, if that were true, we could put a, a door right there and a wall and a door right there and have blocked it off too. So there was that possibility too. But I knew if we waited long enough before we did anything extreme, we'd find some way to, you know, creatively end this little problem. It just had to, just had to get there. Had to accidentally stumble upon it. And we did. So with that, I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Bye-bye.